guys, welcome to today's video. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Natasha. I'm a real estate agent right here in Memphis, Tennessee, and I talk all things about Memphis real estate and I cover different suburbs, areas, all of that good stuff, giving you valuable information in case you are looking to make the move to Memphis. And I like to pepper in some fun videos like today, just going around Memphis, talking about some different gyms, hidden gyms, what's new in Memphis, and all kinds of things. So today we are gonna be talking about some of the places that are new in Memphis. Since starting this channel, honestly, number one, it's just been so fun and I love to hear from you. I love when you call me, when you text me, I love meeting you guys, but it has also helped me just to get around and explore Memphis so much more. I've been here almost a decade and since I've been doing this channel, I have been able to go out and really kind of explore the city in ways I never have before. So we're going to talk about some new places, some new spots here in Memphis, some that are coming up because I want to be able to communicate to you the growth that is happening in this city and there really is a ton of growth. So the very first one we're going to start with is Lush Fresh Handmade Cosmetics. This is in the Saddle Creek Shopping Center in Germantown. I absolutely love this store. I'm a Houstonian and so we have Lush back home in Houston. They have about 240 stores nationwide, but they just opened one in Memphis. So what is it? It basically is just a store that has fresh handmade cosmetics. It has, you know, like your lotions, bar soaps, um, shower gels, they have all kinds of fun stuff like bubble bars, uh, bath bombs, hair care, like all kinds of things. And so it just opened up right here in Memphis about a couple weeks ago. It's just a great store. I absolutely love it. And so I am so glad that Memphis got their very first Lush location. Okay, so the next one, right out in Millington. Now, if you've seen our Millington video, you know that Millington is just really experiencing a ton of growth right now and like I said quite a few places in Memphis are experiencing tons of growth but in Millington uh, and I did mention this in another video but they have Jay's Cafe or Jay's Coffee and Cuisine which is incredible like Shannon the head chef there makes the most amazing breakfast burrito and it is like so so good and uh, they make one of my favorite cappuccinos there. Also, it pretty much just came up overnight. I guess it was just such a really tiny building to build. I've never been, but this is called Scooter's drive through Coffee uh, Place. Just drive through, get coffee. There's some food items there. Like I said, I've never been, but they just put that in Millington as well. And then the Chipotle is about to be finished. They're working on that, including like this huge shopping mall. And so if you want to get more details about that, I can link the Millington is growing video below where I talked about some of those items, but it's nice to see some of these stores like actually like popping up and just the growth there in Millington. So a little bit further south, uh, close to the 385 Winchester area, they are actually in the process of building a venue called Top Golf. Now, again, being from Houston, we actually have a Top Golf there. And so, what is Top Golf? Well, if you've never heard of it, never been, and if you don't have one in your location, it is actually a indoor golf venue, but I say indoor loosely. So I'll try to put some pictures here up on the screen so you can just kind of see what it is, but you have this huge net surrounding it, and then part of it is indoor to basically, like the part that's covering you to where you are actually hitting the ball um, is covering you. And then there's a restaurant there as well. I know a lot of people go and have parties there. That is gonna be just another fun little hangout spot right here in Memphis. This is the restaurant for me that really inspired this video. So there's a restaurant, it's an Irish pub, but it's actually, I say pub loosely because it is a restaurant and it is beautiful. I like from the pictures that I've seen, like I just couldn't wait to go and try it. And so I did last week. This is called Bog and Barley. So this is like on the east side of Memphis, uh, close to the 240 Ridgeway Loop. And this is just an incredible restaurant. So I was actually in London this summer and 
when I heard that the chef, or when I heard that the owner was from London, I was like, okay, want to check out the fish and chips and you guys, if you've had authentic fish and chips in London, like hands down, it is so good here. It is so authentic. I mean, it is quite English. And so it is just amazing. The food is good. The atmosphere is incredible. It's such a beautiful restaurant. So one of my absolutely favorite appetizers that I had there was the smoked fish dip. And hands down, it was incredible. For dessert, I had a Guinness chocolate cake that was divine. It was perfect. It was like not overly sweet, which is what I like. Like this is just an incredible restaurant. Like I said, this is the spot that inspired this video. They opened April of this year. When it comes to new places or new restaurants, especially here in Memphis, because Memphis is a small town and again, to me it is comparatively speaking being from houston it's one of those things that people are always like it's on facebook you know talking about new spots new restaurants and so it really kind of creates a hype and everybody and sharing pictures and everybody's like okay i gotta go i gotta visit and so that was the case with this and hands down this place is wonderful. So you gotta check it out when you come, even if you come to visit, you gotta check out Bog and Barley. I promise it is not chef's kiss. Okay, and then when I was heading over into Germantown a couple days ago, I was just looking up just what's new, just some of the most popular places. And so I stumbled upon this coffee shop called Jojo's Espresso. And so this is actually in the Thornwood community. I've never been in this little section here. And so what it is, it's right on the edge of Germantown. And so it's uh, an area where they have, you know, just your residential areas, like your apartments. And then they, at the bottom, you know, they have all kinds of shops and restaurants and stuff like that. Um, so I had never been in there. I know that for a long time they were like building it up, but they have some restaurants here and cafes and, and stores. And so this is where Jojo's Espresso was actually tucked in. And so I got to check out the area and it has a little dog park in the middle, you know, just a nice little area where residents can walk around. I love that they have these like street lights. And so I walked into Jojo's and it was so adorable. I mean, just like as a little coffee shop, it was so cute. I love the little subway tile, the exposed brick. I mean, this was like everything that I want in a coffee shop. So such a cute little quaint place. I had no idea about this place, but I got the bourbon vanilla ice latte and it was amazing. It was not overly sweet. It was so good. And I actually really enjoyed coffee here. This was a good coffee shop that I checked out. And so I was so glad to be able to have stumbled upon it. So that's it guys. I just kind of wanted to just throw out there just some of the new things that have been popping up. There are so many more. I mean, I'm telling you Memphis really is growing like in each suburb. I'm seeing so much growth and so i have more videos to come to show you to share with you so thank you so much for watching tell me if there's anything you want to see specifically about memphis comment i have so many other videos coming up great ideas but let me know if there's something that you specifically want me to talk about or check out all right guys i'll see you soon in another video bye